Hi, I'm Paige McAndrew, and I'm a scientist at Arkema Incorporated. Arkema is a French-based company, headquarters um, near Paris, and I'm part of the <clears throat> American operation with headquarters in Philadelphia and Research and Development Center in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. We're here at Nanotech 2008 representing our graphite strength line of carbon nanotube products. If you followed nanotechnology at all, you know that carbon nanotubes are one of the really emerging, interesting areas of nanotechnology. Um, they're very small, thin rods of carbon, and they have wonderful properties in being able to change the electrical conductivity of a material, change the mechanical properties, the thermal properties, and also the flame retardancy. And as I said, Arkema is here at this convention representing those products. In the area of clean technology, carbon nanotubes can play a very important role. What they allow is for a material to be made much stronger. So for example, you could take a resin-based material, which is lightweight, adding carbon nanotubes make it strong enough that it could replace metal materials. And in cars and other types of applications, the lighter weight would represent substantially um, good energy savings and consequently you've got something which has a benefit in terms of clean technology. The other interesting thing about carbon nanotube products is that they can be made from a renewable resource. Um, you can derive ethylene from corn and use that as one of the materials to make your carbon nanotube product. Now. I mentioned the fact that you could change the mechanical properties of a, of a material using carbon nanotube. We have some examples here. Uh, we've got a, a baseball bat, which is an epoxy-based system. Carbon nanotubes are in there to make the material, to make the bat stronger. We've got a golf club, which um, has a stiffer shaft by using carbon nanotubes. And we also have a example of a bicycle handlebar. Again, epoxy material made as strong as a metal product, but much lighter because of the use of carbon nanotubes. And if you've gone to your local bike shop, you can even see <clears throat> bicycles that are substantially made of epoxy materials containing carbon nanotubes, which are a very high performance product. So the other area of carbon nanotubes that's very important is in electrical conductivity where you can use just a small amount of carbon nanotube product to change the conductivity of the material you're interested in. A good example here is what I'm showing right here which is an automobile um, fuel line. Now it used to be that um, <clears throat> automobiles had all their fuel systems made of metal. When you went to a polymer or resin based system one of the issues to be concerned with was static charging especially on a cold winter day um, your fuel would move through the plastic part you might get some static charge buildup and that could lead to a fire well the way that you would address that is to make an additive to your system to make it electrically conductive when you add, put additives in though you change other properties the great benefit of the carbon nanotube product is with just a small amount of carbon nanotube you can make your resin system conductive and preserve the other good properties that the resin brings to the system. So this really allows you, instead of needing to use metal parts, you can use plastic or resin parts, and again, less weight, energy savings. So in summary then, I would say Arkham is here to represent its carbon nanotube products. Adding carbon nanotubes to something, a resin product, can make it stronger, can make it more conductive, and it allows you to replace higher weight metal with lower weight plastic or resin materials, and that results in a good energy savings. And that's it from Paige McAndrew of Arkema Incorporated. Thank you.